hello guys welcome back so this will be jasper server tutorials so in this first video i am going to show you how to download and install jasper server in your windows machine so this is the website community.jaspersoft.com project jasper server so to download jasper server in your machine you need to have uh, registered with uh, jasper community so I have already registered with Jasper server so you can directly click on download Jasper report server here so that it will ask you for a login page uh, so it will be asking your credentials saying that uh, enter username and password so when you click on this it simply comes within just when you click on this so minus windows 64 bit so you can this works for the two things 86 and 64 so just you need to enter your email id and password if you don't have one just simply go with your registration with your email id and the download starts automatically so just to make the time quick uh, so i have already downloaded the Win jasper server so this is the latest one 7.2.0 which is around 360 MB so you just go with the normal installation double click and go with the default setup and don't do any changes so the setup will take around 5 minutes or 3 minutes depending on your machine performance so once you're done with that <coughs> so once you're done with that just check whether Jasper server is already in, uh, whether Jasper server is perfectly installed in your PC or not so I have already installed jasper server in my machine so i'll just go and check for the services so in services go for jasper's reports tomcat so here it is so you can see if, if you see jasper report tomcat in your services that means your uh, jasper server setup was successful but it's not yet done it's uh, simply having this won't make everything completed so it's already started you can see here just go to your browser and click on localhost and jasper server okay you can see localhost colon 8080 will be the port so during your installation if you have set any default port then you have to go with the port here so by default it takes 8080 and jasper server will be the application where file name so where the jasper server will be deployed in your tom tomcat so just go with this and press enter so if you see uh, the page comes up actually this is already logged in i'll show you without login again localhost jasper server so at the first place it asks you user id and password so you need to go with jasper admin and password will be the same and simply press on login so once you log in you will just see the screen with uh, say there are no resources in this folder and you will see these directories here this, these are the default directories what you get when you first start up your jasper server so in the next video we'll be discussing how to publish a simple report from your jasper studio to jasper server so that's it guys thank you for watching thank you very much